The stepmother was very angry and jealous of Snow White. She bribed a greedy huntsman to take Snow White to the forest and kill her. I want you to bring back her heart, she ordered. But when the huntsman reached the forest with Snow White, his courage betrayed him. He took pity on Snow White and set her free. Snow White wandered in the forest all night crying. In the morning, she came to a tiny cottage. Through the window, she saw seven plates on the table and seven tiny beds in the bedroom. She decided to cook a delicious meal and to clean the house. The cottage belonged to seven dwarfs, and when they came home, they found Snow White sleeping. When she woke up and told them her story, the seven dwarfs asked her to stay with them, and Snow White agreed. Meanwhile, in the palace, the huntsman had returned to the castle with the heart of a deer. He gave it to the wicked stepmother, telling her it belonged to Snow White. Highly pleased, the stepmother turned again to the magic mirror, but the mirror replied, The loveliest in the land is still Snow White, who lives in the Seven Dwarfs' Cottage down in the forest. The stepmother was furious. She was actually a witch, and she made a poisonous potion and dipped a beautiful red apple into it. Then she disguised herself as an old peasant woman and went to the woods with the poisoned apple in her basket. Snow White was reluctant to open the door to the old woman because the dwarfs warned her. But then she saw the beautiful red apple and opened the door. The wicked witch offered her the apple. When Snow White took a bite, she fell into a deep sleep. Chuckling evilly, the wicked witch turned back into the stepmother. She hurried off to the palace to ask the mirror if she was now finally the most beautiful. But as she ran back across the swamp, she tripped and fell into quicksand. No one heard her cries for help and the wicked stepmother disappeared without a trace. When the seven dwarfs came home, they found Snow White lying lifeless with the poisoned apple by her side. They cried all night and then built a glass coffin for Snow White. One evening, the dwarfs were carrying flowers to lay them on her coffin. There they discovered a young man admiring Snow White's lovely face through the glass. He was a prince, and after listening to the dwarf's story, he kissed Snow White. Immediately, Snow White opened her eyes. She was alive again! Now in love, the prince asked Snow White to marry him, and she said yes. The dwarfs reluctantly had to bid goodbye to Snow White when the prince took her to his palace. From that day on, Snow White lived happily in a great castle. But from time to time, she and her dwarf friends visited each other, either in the palace or in the little cottage 
down in the forest.